And we praise you cause we're thankful Oh, we praise you cause we're thankful Yeah, we praise you cause our hearts are full
There's no limit to how far your arm can reach There's no sin that your blood can cover in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you preserve our life. That you come running every time. Thank you, God, that you're so committed to fulfilling the purposes that you have for us, that you will chase us down every time that, that we veer from the path. Thank you, God, that you chase us down. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness that chases us down. Thank you, God, that you will fulfill the purpose that you have for our life, that your steadfast love, O oh Lord, it endures forever. The purpose is that you have, God. Let it happen, let it be, let it come to pass. The purpose is you have for, for me, for my family, for our church, for our state, for our nation, for the, for the whole earth, Jesus. Let your plans and your purposes come to pass. In Jesus' name, we declare that the plans and purposes of God are coming to pass. If you feel weary today, that he's forgotten or that you're too far off the path. Read Psalm 138 verse eight over yourself. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O oh Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Jesus, don't forsake the work of your hands. Every plan, God, that you have for us, Jesus, let it come to pass. Every single one of them that God remind you right now of those plans and purposes he has for you and if you've never heard Jesus tell you what his plan and purpose for you is take the next few moments and listen he might show you a picture you might start thinking about something if you've never heard the voice of the Lord before, I just impart a grace over your life right now with eyes to see and ears to hear. That the spirit of wisdom and revelation would reveal the knowledge of Christ Jesus to you right now in this moment. God, I'm asking you that you would teach your people how to hear your voice. Reveal your plans and purposes for your people, God. Let us not be sheep without a shepherd. Let us not perish without a vision, God. We need to hear your voice, Jesus. We need to know your plans and your purpose, God. Yeah, Jesus, we need to know your plans and your purpose. Speak to us, Jesus. Teach us to hear your voice, God. Holy Spirit, come reveal Jesus to us. It's only you we want, God. Speak to us, Jesus. Die upon your 
of the power of your voice. I'm just reminded of how 
God spoke the earth into existence. He spoke it and it, it was made manifest. The earth was just that void. There's just black everywhere. And God spoke and the earth was created and, and everything that lived in it. There was, there was day and there was night. There was water. He just spoke it. That same God who has the power to speak the earth into existence still speaks to you. Wow, God revealed to us the power of your voice, the power of your words. God, give us a hunger and a revelation to your powerful words. It's not just sound that comes out of your mouth when you speak, but it's power that comes out of your mouth when you speak. The God of miracles, you, you, everything that you say produces a miracle. Make us listeners, God. Teach us, God, to talk a lot less in our prayer life and listen a lot more. God, open our ears, open our ears, lay your hands on your ears and just say, open up in Jesus name, open up, hear heaven, ears, hear heaven. Teach us God to consecrate the things that we're listening to. not glorify you we repent Jesus for listening to gossip we repent Jesus for listening to to the news of the earth and not the news of heaven purify our ears God consecrate us to hear only the report of heaven Ears to hear, ears open up in Jesus' name. Hear the report of heaven. My ears are literally so hot right now. <laughs>
the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood seraphim. Each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is filled with his glory. And the foundations of those thresholds shook at the voice of him who called. And the house was filled with smoke, and I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar, and he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your guilt is taken away, and your sins atoned for. of our guilt. We shall have no other idols before you, God. Fill our temple, Jesus. Fill our temple, God. You are holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is filled with your glory. The whole earth, all of the earth is filled with your glory. All of the earth is filled with your glory.